Hello friends, today we'll be going to talk about Angular, TypeScript and Node.js. So it will be a little introduction about AngularJS and TypeScript with Angular CLI and how we can use a Node.js uh, to create a simple project. But I'll be, I'll be uh, Angular. A view and reacts this uh, frameworks create a single page application um, apps and then what are the advantages of using a uh, single page uh, application as compared to traditional uh, website what we were using early days so then what are the advantages of using typescript basically typescript is a superset of the javascript so we are having more functionalities as compared to javascript and even we can uh, create classes and method functions in typescript basically object oriented purely object oriented so if you are having a good experience in object oriented programming such as java or c sharp then typescript will be very easy for you to understand and to learn okay then node.js node.js is uh, basically used to in a command line uh, wherein we can use uh, to create npm install some packages and all those things that i'll be showing in in the later part okay so my name is nilkan shirodkar and today i'll be talking about angular typescript and angular cli so let us start with a simple task like uh, what is single page application okay what is single page application these are the topic which we will be discussing why angular why we are using angular only what are the advantages of using angular typescript for angular is basically i'll tell you angular first version was in angular js javascript and then from angular 2 they started with typescript 2 and above okay so and one more thing about typescript browser doesn't support typescript so basically we need to compile uh, convert typescript to javascript at the final stage okay so then angular architecture basics angular cli basically using angular cli we can create service we can create a components and all those things shortcuts i'll be showing you and then the project structure i'll be talking about but this will be in the further part okay but today in this tutorial i'll be just talking about what is single page application so basically this is a architecture wherein this first part is having the traditional one okay earlier what we were using like html suppose client side we are using html and server side we are using some uh, php or any other language c sharp or something like that okay then basically uh, your client will be requesting a page A to the server and server will respond just page A. So each time we are communicating with a client and server. See, request for www.example.com. Okay, that will response back. Client will be giving, uh, calling server and server will be response back with a home page. Okay then he will click on the suppose on the header we are having page a page b page c and if the client click on page a then the request new request will be going to the server and server will response back to the client with page a with again html and all those things will be loaded all page will be full page will be loaded again and then suppose client is asking for some is querying some search terms like hello or something like that then again the client will be sending request to the server and server will be responding back with the search result how many queries are there okay so basically what we are doing is interacting client and server again and again okay so to avoid this 
we have came up with the single page application so basically we keep the markup same okay and we only change the data which is uh, inside the inside data so like uh, we can say in angular we have ng repeat and models okay we will binding this values to the uh, model and it will be rendered on the view so basically we won't be loading the full html page we will be only loading certain part of the html page so this will be increasing the uh, load time the faster will be the page loads so basically it will be having only certain part to be reload uh, uh, rest header footer sidebar and all those things will be same which is already loaded so those are the advantages what i'm saying about the single page application so over there this is a single page application wherein client request to the server and server responds back with a complete app package in response okay so in this single page application also we will be having page a page b page c and so on but this will be having something called as routes okay so certain routes will be there which will be noted in the project route config file and based on that it will be a component base based on that it will be showing the pages views we say views okay not pages and then views will be showing we'll be just changing those views okay so basically page will won't be loading full but only certain amount of the data will be changed and suppose if we want to take a weather report or something uh, some user uh, user details then we can uh, http dot get we can uh, get it from the data and then we can bind it to the model and basically angular is having two way binding so it will automatically gets bind to the view front end so uh, those things will be i'll be talking later like what is two way binding then what are models what are components what are services and all those things that will be in the later part but uh, for just to knowledge purpose i'm just telling you what is what are the, what was the traditional way how we used to load pages and how we are doing now with using single page application okay so nowadays this single page application is most widely used because of the speed it's very fast because at only once you are loading a web page you are not calling a server again and again to get uh, html css and javascript only once you will be asking server and this will be loaded on your system and it may if you're using caching you can cache that data so it will be stored it won't be asking again again requesting to the server so this also helps in server calls so bandwidth will be saved of the server so if you're having huge amount of users at a time so then again and again on be calling the server so bandwidth is one of the most advantage using single page application thank you thank you friends in next topic we'll be talking about typescript and angular angular how to uh, install angular how to create angular application